threat to your lives today, traffic accidents. We of the police department are doing everything within our power to make your streets and highways safer for you. But the accident rate in this county is still growing. A great deal is being accomplished, but much remains to be done. It is to encourage your cooperation that we present the following traffic safety picture. officers get some mighty unpleasant jobs to do at times. Now take this situation. One person badly hurt and two killed. All this death, misery and heartache bobbing up in just one split second. But something must have led up to this split second when death struck. Steve Daniels and his son are leaving for home after watching the wrestling matches the night before. With a good night's rest, a hearty breakfast is in order. The little fellow had been looking forward to this trip, and he watched a few of his favorites win their match. Steve decided to take care of some business while he was in the neighborhood. Steve is always thoughtful of his family and friends, always had a friendly word for everyone. Mrs. Daniels is planning a surprise party for her son, so this is a good opportunity while he is away from home. With a brand new baby at the Daniels household and the party to prepare for, Mrs. Daniels can use all the help there is. After all, a party is a big event to a child. Speaking of parties, this fellow Joe thought he'd like to have one of his own. Of a little different variety, though. Saturday meant it's time to relax to a carefree mood. He's a nice fellow, no different from other people ordinarily. But time and events have a way of changing things. Just a normal, regular guy having a good time on a Saturday afternoon. If Joe could remember the way to Jim's, maybe he would join in the good time. It's nice to help a fellow, but Joe expects more courtesy than he is willing to give.
driver of this truck, Joe looks as though he had trouble with his car. Knowing cars the way this driver did, he figured he could be of help. But Joe found what he was looking for. It was a waste of time for the driver. The only help Joe needed, he would have to give to himself. Anyway, he went off down the road, taking on more of a load as he went. The trouble is, most folks on the road can't tell when a fellow like that is on the loose. A few drinks give a guy a lot of confidence, false confidence. And he'll take what he thinks are just little chances. He probably didn't know that he had had too much to drink that his judgment wasn't good enough for safe driving. He didn't pull off the road when he stopped the way this driver did. He was curious when he saw the truck stopped. Maybe he thought he could be of some help. But good intentions in his condition don't mean much. Joe didn't understand that he was obstructing the road and that he could cause a bad accident. No serious thoughts were in his mind. In that fuzzy state and still feeling full of confidence, he was a sure setup for some kind of an accident. You just can't tempt fate too often. This guy was pushing his luck a little too far. But Steve Daniels' luck wasn't so good. He had car trouble just when he was in a hurry to get home for the party. After all, it would be difficult for Mrs. Daniels to restrain hungry youngsters when there is cake and ice cream on the menu. Daniels appreciated the help he received, but he was in too much of a hurry to give more than a quick thanks, and off he went in a breeze. This trouble delayed him, and he was hurrying to make up for lost time. But what about Joe racing his whiskey-blurred way down the road? He is not going to stop until someone or something stops him. Steve was still trying to save a few seconds, and there was little time for him to realize that an irresponsible drunken driver was taking up the road ahead. And then it happened. <laughs> Yes, policemen do get some mighty unpleasant jobs to do at times. One ruined life.
and two that have been lost forever. And perhaps this all didn't happen in just a split second after all. That makes it too simple, too easy to explain. It was really the result of growing carelessness and irresponsibility. That accident, those deaths, were starting to happen early in the day when those fellows let circumstances start to push their caution to one side. wreckage is cleared, but the shadow of death will always remain. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel it my duty to comment on the episode you have just witnessed. The wreckage may be cleared from the highway. The scraps of steel and glass may be salvaged and replaced, but there is no possible replacement for the lost human life. Material destruction and damage can be measured in dollars and cents, but who is there who can place a monetary value on the lives of that man and his son? I would now like to introduce Mr. John Stiff, City Manager of Irving. Thank you, Chief Cooper. A community would be rightfully indignant if a known killer were allowed to roam the streets freely. Irresponsibility, lack of caution, and disregard for others are known killers when behind the wheel of a car. Don't permit these killers to ride with you. It may be your life they will seek next.